this guy. My brothers and sisters, we begin at the entrance of the church near the baptismal font, recalling the words that St. Paul taught us, the words that tell us that if we have died through baptism with Christ, we can also rise with him in, through baptism, through Christ. This is a source of our hope. This is a source of consolation in a day that carries its share of sorrows and in some. And so we proceed with open hearts. We ask that the Lord use his mercy to console us and to be present to us. And we begin as we always do in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father who raised Jesus from the dead be with you always. And with your spirit. In the waters of baptism, Pauline died with Christ and rose with him to new life. May she now share with him eternal glory. Baptism, Pauline received the sacraments. May she share in Christ's victory over sin and death. Come back to me with all. apart trees to bend though straight and tall so must we to others call long have I waited for your coming home to me Deeply our new life, the wilderness will lead you to your heart where I will speak integrity and just. should know long have I waited for your coming home to me and living deeply our new Let us pray. O oh God, who are mercy for sinners and the happiness of your saints, grant, we pray, to your servants, Tom and Pauline, for whom today we perform the fraternal offices of burial, a share with your chosen ones in the blessedness you give, so that on the day of resurrection, 
freed from the bonds of mortality, they may come before your face. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Job. But Job answered Bildad, the Shuite, and said, Oh, that my words were written down. Would that they were inscribed in a record, that with an iron chisel and with lead they were cut in the rock forever. But as for me, I know my vindicator lives, and that he will at last stand forth upon the dust, whom I myself shall see. My own eyes, not another's, shall behold him. And from that flesh, I shall see my God. My inmost being is consumed with longing. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. 
Brothers and sisters, are you unaware that we who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were indeed buried with him through baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live in newness of life. If then we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. We know that Christ raised from the dead dies no more. Death no longer has power over him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you all. At that time, Jesus answered, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the, and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves, for my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Pauline and Tom were married for over 60 years, and in that time they came to depend more and more upon each other. One would help the weaknesses of the other, one would rejoice in the strengths of the other, and with this kind of a connection, this kind of a support, it's possible to become more of who each one of them was. 
And that spilled over to the community. Tom generously donated many things. And Pauline worked tirelessly. She helped with the, found the thrift store, worked with the women's group, worked with Cinco de Mayo. She did a lot of things. Each one relying on their partner in the process. And although not everything went smoothly, they found that they could ride out the bad times together. And in some mysterious way, they were even stronger for these times. So ironically, we have an opportunity today to put into practice in our lives some of what they had. Now they stand before the Lord, the author of all that they shared, and the perfection of all that they knew. And they see things familiar and new at the same time. We too are now in a position where things are rocky. After a long illness, Pauline passed away. It brings tears to the eyes of some. It brings pain in the heart to others. And through all of this, we go back to the roots of the things that Pauline and Tom shared. We go back to those roots. We find our connection with the one and the only one who rose from the dead, and we seek help in our weakness. We seek support in our sorrow. We seek consolation in the face of confusion, in the face of questions, in the face of unknown. And when we have opened our hearts to receive these sorts of things, these great gifts of the Lord, then we find that our connection with the source and the font of what Tom and Pauline knew is in some mysterious way a little stronger. And we go through life knowing that although these times are painful, although these times leave a gap, there is other things. There are things that guide us, that see us through, just like the pains and the trials in the lives of Tom and Pauline. When we're able to do that, we find that the distance between their lives and our lives isn't as big as it might first seem. We find, like in the conclusion of the first reading, that the Lord is near, and through him, all of our loved ones. We find that the life that is promised in the second reading burns a bit brighter. And we find the consolation promised to us in the gospel. It's a bittersweet day. We rely on one another for support. We rely on one another for help. That's how Tom and Pauline did it. And what they taught continues in the lives of all gathered here. As a community of faith, we gather our prayers together. We ask that the Lord continue to be at work in our lives, 
and that he welcomed Tom and Pauline into the reign of a king. In baptism, Pauline received the light of Christ, scattered at the darkness now, and lead her over the waters of death. Lord, in your mercy. Lord, hear our prayers. Hear our prayers. Our sister Pauline was nourished at the table of the Savior. Welcome her into the, into the hall of the heavenly banquet. Lord, in your mercy. Lord, hear our prayer. Many friends and members of our families have gone before us and await the kingdom. Grant them an everlasting home with your Son, Lord, in your mercy. Lord, hear our prayer. Many people die by violence, war, and famine each day. Show your mercy to those who suffer so, in, so unjustly these sins against your love, and gather them to the eternal kingdom of peace. Lord, in your mercy. Lord, hear our prayer. Those who trust in the Lord now sleep in the Lord. Give refreshment, rest, and peace to all whose fate is known to you alone. Lord, in your mercy. Lord, hear our prayer. The family and friend of Pauline seek comfort and consolation heal their pains and dispel the darkness and doubts that come from grief. Lord, in your mercy. Lord, hear our prayer. We are assembled here in faith and confidence to pray for our sister Pauline, strengthen our hope so that we may live in the expectations of your son's coming. Lord, in your mercy. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, you call us to share in your son's sorrow and in your son's joy. Keep us close to your heart. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I will come to you in the silence I will lift you from all your fear You will hear my voice I claim you as my choice Be still and know I am here I am hoping for all who are hopeless I am eyes for all who long to see In the shadows of the night I will be your light Come and rest in me Do not be afraid
please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept our sacrifice at your hands for the praise of the Lord Jesus' name. For our deliverance, the Holy Church. Be near, O Lord, we pray to your servants Tom and Pauline, who, on whose funeral day we offer you this sacrifice of conciliation so that should any stain of sin have clung to them, or any human fault have affected them, it may by your loving gift be forgiven and wiped away through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For it is at your summons that we come to birth. By your will that we are governed, and at your command that we return on account of sin to the earth from which we came. And when you give the sign, we who have been redeemed by the death of your Son shall be raised up to the glory of his resurrection. And so with a company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we are clay. Please kneel or sit. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat up, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O oh Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in <coughs> thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. George, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Oscar, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. Your compassion, O oh merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servants, Tom and Pauline, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages, and praise you without end, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
At the Savior's command, and born by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace be with you. Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, almighty God, that your servants who have, who have journeyed from this world may by this sacrifice be cleansed and freed from sin, and so receive the everlasting joys of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Trusting in God, we have prayed together for Tom and Pauline. And now we come to the last farewell. There is sadness in parting, but we take comfort in a hope that one day we shall see both of them again and enjoy their friendship. Although we will disperse in sorrow, the mercy of God will gather us together again in the joy of the kingdom. <coughs> Therefore, let us console one another with the faith of Christ Jesus.
Saints of God, come to their aid. Hasten to meet them, angels of the Lord. Receive their souls and present, and present them to God the Most High. May Christ, who called you to himself, may Christ, who called you, take you to himself. May angels lead you to the bosom of Abraham. Receive their souls and present them to God the Most High. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, let perpetual light shine upon them. Receive their soul, present them God, and, pre and present them to God the Most High. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brothers and our sister, and assure in certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, they will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon both of them in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us to remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with Pauline and Tom forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. In peace, let us take our brother and our sister to their places of rest. <laughs>